Not only is there a full kitchen inside this little 6x12 cargo trailer conversion, it has an ingenious gravity-fed water system. Inside this really tiny 6x12 cargo trailer conversion, not only is there a full kitchen, but it operates on a gravity-fed water system. Located above the kitchen sink is the three-gallon gravity tank that feeds not only the kitchen, but also the toilet. It is fed by a 25-gallon tank at the bottom of the kitchen with a 110-volt water pump. They tend not to go out as often as 12-volt RV pumps. That's why it was put in this rig. The 25 gallon freshwater tank for the kitchen is located under the sink right there and then that is the 15 gallon gray water tank for the kitchen. And the water is pumped from that 25 gallon freshwater tank by this 110 volt water pump up to the ceiling in the gravity tank. At the front of the trailer is the fresh water. Right there is where it's filled. The water is pumped up from the tank through the middle of the V part of the front of the trailer. And you can see there's two pipes, one coming up to fill the tank and then one going down and that is where the water enters the sink or the toilet. And on the other side of the tank you can see the pipe that comes up from the fresh water tank enters the tank at the top and then on the very top of the tank is another pipe and that is the air inlet and also the overflow valve which are located outside. Located right above the kitchen sink is the air inlet and also the overflow valve for the gravity fed water tank. Filling up the gravity tank is super easy because I have a wireless switch right there on the wall and that activates the 110 volt pump for the fresh water tank. You're also very well aware when you have overfilled the tank because the air inlet valve slash overflow valve will give you a great visual display right here in the window. And that is why that valve is located outside. So the water floods outside not inside my trailer. So there has to be a compromise because it's a gravity fed water system, right? Correct. You don't have the same water pressure, but you really do get used to just having a certain amount of water pressure. And I have not found in any way that it hinders my ability to operate this kitchen fully or to do dishes just as quick as I did in a sticks and bricks with high pressure water. Both of the valves on my kitchen sink are simply connected to the gravity fed water system. To heat my water I use a small teapot and pour it into a container in the sink and fill that with soapy water. So this is going to be an example of the water pressure. So if you turn just one on you get that and both of them you get that. But I'm going to just give you a quick demonstration like say we were going to wash this pan. It's just as quick and easy as it is at your house. I got some soap on this already. We'll get it soaked up real quick. And because the sink is so little, I do get water all around it, but everything's sealed. So I just wipe it up and we're good to go. So you can see, this is rinsing just as quick as it would at your house. So as far as the gravity water goes for me, it works. And then it's just a quick cleanup. One of the big benefits for me having the gravity water system is I live where it's cold, so it gets down to like 20 degrees often during the winter. And I have all my water stored inside of this rig, so I don't have that freezing water issue and I don't have to try and protect a pressurized water hose on the outside. Another really cool feature of this kitchen is the way the gray water tanks are set up. The shower has its own gray tank, and then the kitchen gray tank is plumbed into the black tank. So every time I open up that black tank and flush it, there's a separate valve inside. I open up the kitchen gray tank and flush out that black tank. So we will open up that black tank valve. And then underneath the kitchen right here is the gray water valve next to the gray water tank. And you will hear how powerful that is when we open that up. So it's a 15 gallon black water tank. And then this gray water tank is 15 gallons. So while it wasn't my specific goal to be eco-friendly or green when I built this house, it was about learning how to utilize far fewer resources and stretch them out. So I use, on average, about 10 gallons a day of water in this house. That's a pretty small footprint. Five gallons for showering and right around five gallons for my kitchen cleaning needs and flushing the toilet. 
So for me, the kitchen gravity fed water system and the gravity fed shower that I have in my little six by 12 cargo conversion has definitely worked out well. And when I build another rig, I'll use the exact same system again. And it has a gray water tank that flashes inside of the...